April 1st, when nothing else will do. Exodus chapter 4 verse 31. So the people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, and that he had looked on their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. There are times when it seems the only appropriate thing to do is worship. Kenneth Graham, in his children's book, The Wind in the Willows, describes such a time. Mole and Rat had been out searching for a lost child. In their search, they came to a part of the river that they hadn't visited before and found themselves in the commanding presence of the piper. Then suddenly, the mole felt a great awe fall upon him, an awe that turned his muscles to water, bowed his head and rooted his feet to the ground. Rat, he found, breathed to whisper, shaking, are you afraid? Afraid, murmured the rat, his eyes shining with unutterable love. Afraid of him, oh never, never, and yet, and yet, oh Mole, I'm afraid. Then the two animals crouching to the earth bowed their heads and did worship. When the Israelites heard and saw all that Moses and Aaron had to share, verses 29 to 30, they too were overcome with wonder. The God of the universe was concerned about them and they bowed their heads and worshipped. There was nothing more appropriate that they could do. God is still the same wondrous person today as he was then. He is more powerful than we can ever imagine. He rules all of creation and has done so since eternity past. Every living thing draws its life from him and owes its continued existence to him. Compared to him, we are like the rat and the mole, pummeled with a feeling of insignificance. Yet, He loves us so much that He gave His only begotten Son to redeem us from our sins. Take time today to meditate on God's awesomeness. Let the wonder of His love fill you with astonishment. Allow the realization of His concern for every aspect of your life to wash over you in amazement. Then bow your head and worship. Those who truly know God will truly worship Him. Amen.